Hello everybody, this is Joshua Phillips for Living Reason. In today's video, there is no such thing as reporting just the facts. So I wanted to make just one small point on this. If this video does well, I think I have some other similar thoughts I might put out, which is I think there's a false dichotomy that the options, reporters, or any kind of pundits, including myself in this context, there's the false dichotomy of stating things which are facts versus using your opinion to warp information. And the reason I think that's a false dichotomy is that fundamental to any kind of reporting or commentary or suggesting, you know, focus, any, anything like that, you inevitably are condensing more information than you're going to talk about into some kind of narrative explanation. So, you know, this is a video that's going to be, you know, about four minutes long discussing the idea that you have to condense information for a narrative. I could presumably talk about that for hours. We could read, you know, every book that's ever been written on how to select what you report on. But I'm fitting an idea into about four minutes that I think perhaps this idea is not explicitly realized enough that it's inevitable when you're reporting on something that you are using whatever background and cognition you have to try to decide what's important to talk about. Notably, that applies even if your goal is not quote-unquote biased but your goal is that you are, in fact, trying to figure out what's true, right? So, for instance, it's sort of a funny analogy, right? When I made this video, I decided to do this weird camera angle where you can only see half my face. And if you're really good at reading or flip your screen, you can read the warning sticker on the roof of my car, I suppose. Well, that was a decision because I was thinking, you know, can the camera angle... And me talking about the camera angle help explain the point I'm getting across. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. And maybe, you know, for whatever cognitive reason or bias, I just like doing funny things. So it was a mistake. But if I wanted to talk about, you know, the concept of having to select what you talk about when you're doing journalism or reporting or political commentary... There is no way for me to do that without omitting details I talk about, without choosing particular examples and omitting other examples, without deciding how much I should repeat particular points versus try to cover as much as possible. That's inevitable. What I think people are often looking for is not the mythical, you know, impartial third-person observer journalist. I think what a lot of us are looking for is people who might be wrong, who have whatever biases they have, but who are actively trying to report correctly and explaining why they're reporting what they're reporting, why they're focusing the way they're focusing, and why they trust the experts and sources they trust. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed seeing the top half of my face for the whole video, Feel free to make jokes about that. Thanks again. Please subscribe and have a nice day.